Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is by Tetragon and it's Gridders. So this is a game I've never heard of before. I haven't heard of a lot of games to be honest, but this is another one. And this is 1994 Tetragon. So let's just skip past the uh, full motion video. So we've got our new game resume demo options. So let's have a look at the options first of all. Games, difficulty, I think I'll change that to easy. So you got easy, normal and dangerous. Yeah, moves your con and off and exit. So yeah, just basic options there. Let's go to new game and let's have a look. Hmm, my last paycheck. So I've just like most Panasonic yeah. video games, you all started with wow. a cutscene, but we're just going to skip through this so we can get to game of day. And this is level one, welcome to the grid. As you can see, the grid comes into view. Now, as you can see, you are this man. Digital. Okay, if you pick that up, a dog comes for some reason. Okay, so you've got your dog as your companion. Well, okay, so there seems to be some squares moving about the grid. So that continues. Right, it looks like I've got to avoid all these things. Right. Music's pretty good, isn't it? Quite like that music. Okay. Shit, watch out for these squares here. Well, this seems like sort of like a novel uh, original concept. So I've got to pick up these triangles as well. What's this here? Is that the exit? Okay, that must have been the exit. Director. So there's more cutscenes. So on to level, yeah it was like exit, so on to level 2. So the grid comes into play. Some nice 3D effects on this one. Very innovative for the day. Whoa, shit. Watch out for all these squares, these cubes that they're all trying to get, yeah, these blocks. Hope everyone's having a pleasant Saturday. I am, I've had a really good day today. Um, and yep, so, uh, yeah, okay, so Eurovision's on today as well, which I'm looking forward to, to be honest. I always watch a bit of Eurovision. So, okay, so, yeah, let's watch out for these. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so we've got the blocks coming. Oh, shit. So that red square seems to make them disappear. Okay, so the music is pretty atmospheric, actually. Cl classical 90s music. Oh, shit. The company who made this game, I've never heard of either. Well, there's loads of cubes on this one. This is a bit more complicated. Seems to have a bit of atmosphere to this game somehow. Right, okay. So you can't always see the cubes until they're right on top of you, so you've got to be careful. Because of the way the camera angle is positioned. Okay, so yeah, we keep going. Oh, shit. It's quite a fun game, actually. It's quite a... Uh, quite cool because it's so original and different. I haven't saw a game like it since actually to be honest. It's like really like a puzzle game but on a big 3D landscape. Right let's see if I can find this exit here. Maybe you've got to collect something before the exit appears. So I'm gonna get that green thing. Oh it's disappeared. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh that was close. Then those cubes nearly got me then. Okay, what's this here? Okay, so there's nothing there. Can you climb up these bits? Yeah, you can. Yuck. So I've got the uh, red crystal here. The music's really cool, like I mentioned earlier. I, I do like the music. I don't know if this game is available on any other system. Couldn't tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of energy there. I think I've got to find that green crystal. Oh shit! Ooh, I thought I was going to get flattened then. Okay. You know what system this game would be good on? Nintendo 64. I think it would be great on that system as well. Which good on the Panasonic 3D as well. So, yeah, somehow I've got to try and find that green crystal. I did see it, but now it's disappeared. Oh, I just saved and quit by mistake. Can I resume? One level level, it's called. So, yeah, you can resume, thankfully. Digital. Right, okay, let's try this again. Ah, you can move, though. Okay, that seems to 
make it go up. Not sure what the point is of that. There must be some sort of logic to that. Right, okay, so let's go down here. Does this one do anything? Yeah, you can do it with that one as well. And it seems to create more blocks. Okay. Whoa. I thought I was going to get squashed then. Oh, let's check over this way as well. So they just fall off the edge. So we know that much. Them ones have got arrows on them. Maybe that's something to do with it. Oh, yeah. you can actually stop and move it. Hmm, it's got a red one in it now. It's got two red ones in it. Okay, so the game does slow down a little bit when there's a lot going on, but I'm hardly surprised. Look how many squares are bouncing about with the 3D uh, aspect of it. Right, I don't think I'm going to be able to sort of figure out this level because I'm not sure how to do it. But uh, yep, this is a, a Greeders on the uh, Panasonic 3DO and I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. Absolutely superb by the looks of it. I, like, I love the music and I love the idea. It's like a really novel uh, original concept and uh, it's very playable as well. Very fun game indeed. I highly recommend this one. Ouch, I just got flattened. So yeah, that was uh, Greeders on the Panasonic 3DO. I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant Saturday evening. Whatever you're up to, don't get too drunk, or maybe you should. And uh, yep, so thank you for watching, and goodbye!